Hey everyone, Justin Capra, Product Manager at 3X Logic. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up video analytics on your V Series camera. To begin, you will open up the camera's web browser and enter the administrative credentials. Upon login, you will be greeted with an information page giving you the overall status of your camera. From here, you will want to click on the Advanced button. In the Advanced menu, you will want to select VCA from the drop-down on the left side. You will now click on Enable Disable. Next, you will want to check the box for Enable under VCA Configuration, as well as check the box for Object Tracking and Counting Line under VCA Features. These options may vary depending on your analytics license. Next, you will select either Surveillance or People under the Tracking Mode. Finally, you will click Apply. Next, you will click Zones and Rules. This is where you will create the analytic. You will have the option to create either a zone, a line, or multiples of each. By right-clicking in the Video Preview screen, you can select Zone or Line and then Create Zone or Line. I will begin with creating a zone. Once the zone has been created, you can click on the zone and drag it into the position in which you want to cover. An example of this could be using perimeter protection or covering an area in which we want to calculate how long an object has dwelled. Once the zone is in place, you can now click on any one of the nodes and shape the zone to your preference. Additionally, you can right click within the zone and insert additional nodes to create a custom zone for your particular application. Once you have finished, you can then go to the tree on the right hand side and begin to enter details. You can give the zone a name, select a color, and also decide whether you want to use this as a detect or non-detect zone. I will select presence which will alert me when an object's presence is in my zone. Once complete, you will click Apply. Next, we will create a line. To create a line, you will simply right-click in the Video Preview section and select Create a Line. The line has the same principles as a zone in which you can click and drag and move the line as well as click on one of the nodes to change the size of the line. For this application, let's use the line for counting. Once you have the line in place, you will go to the tree on the right hand side and provide a name, select a color, and next open the options to the counting line by clicking the plus symbol to determine either entry or exit counts for an object, you will click the box for the particular direction. You can provide custom names for each direction and use one or both directions. Finally, you can set the width calibration of your line. Put a check in the box of width calibration and go into the video preview screen. Click on the lines inside the counting line. Hold and drag to move them in or out. The width calibration allows you to define the minimum and maximum object size that will be crossing your line. Once complete, be sure to click Apply. Next, you will click on Calibration. Our 3D calibration makes it fast and easy to finalize your analytic settings. In the video preview, you will see a grid as well as two little figures called Mimics which assist in setting your camera's field of view and further define the depth of your analytic. You can click on the grid, drag and move it up or down, or turn it right or left. Sizing the grid gives you a foreground. Moreover, click on a mimic and move the mimic where you can determine depth. You can also change the size of a mimic by scrolling the mouse wheel forward or backward. You additionally have the option on the right hand tree to enter values by hand if you know the specific camera height, 
tilt angle and vertical field of view you are looking for. Once complete, click Apply. Finally, we will click on Enable Burnt-In Annotation. This allows the analytic to be displayed in the video feed. Put a check in the box to enable burnt-in annotation as well as check the boxes for the options of which you want to include, specific to the zones, rules, or objects to be placed in the video feed. You will also be able to change the object's colors and font colors specific to the burnt-in annotation. Once complete, click Apply. That's how easy it is to set up our analytics. On behalf of our team, thanks for watching. I'm Justin Capra, Product Manager at 3X Logic.